Rays have a finely tuned sensory system, which they use to locate prey. But these sensors could also detect my thick line and hook. So by changing to finer gear, I hope to fool the ray into taking my bait. I'm going to scale down and uh, that's just a bit finer. Still very strong, 175 pound braking strain that. This is the main line here. Uh, it's not going to create a lot of drag when it moves through the water. The current's not going to pick it up. I'm actually quite pleased with that setup. I give it one more go, in the hope that as evening falls, the piranhas will stop feeding. Nothing, nothing. That's very odd. Zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
I've handled these fish actually like loads of times before. This is the first time I've been stabbed by one of these. It kicked and it just, that was its pectoral spine going in the back of my hand. Although painful, these catfish spines do not have a venom. What this is making me think about is I'm going to have to try and deal with a stingray at night and uh, you know, just a moment's loss of concentration with a small catfish and that's the result. Okay. In the Amazon, stingrays are known as wish-you-were-dead fish because of the agonising pain following a stab from the barb. 